Hey, how's it guys? Today, we're gonna be uh, repairing a JVC Saturn with a dead laser. The tools you'll need is an ESD safe soldering iron, precision screwdrivers. I use Japanese uh, screwdrivers number one and two, static free soldering wick, your replacement JVC laser, this is an Optima 6S laser, some silicone grease, an ESD or anti-static mat. You want to attach this alligator clip to expose the metal part on your work table. And that's it, let's get to it. Here we have the V Saturn with the dead laser. Remove the five screws that's pointed out here. Now you can check forums or search online to see how to diagnose if your uh, laser is dead. Again, before you take the cover off, make sure you open the lid. Now remove the uh, ground strap screw, also the ribbon cable, and also the power harness for the laser assembly. The harness you want to pull straight up and rock just a little bit. Let's remove the whole assembly. Here we have the assembly. Tilt it to its side, you'll see the tab there pointed. Uh, you want to push in toward the center while pushing towards the surface of the laser and it will pop out. There are square tabs in the back so you have to lift the cover off to near 90 degrees before you can pull that off. Uh, pointing at the tab, just push that tab toward the arrow that I pointed out. The rod, you need to push that rod where I have that screwdriver there while holding that tab down to release that rod. Now I can just push that rod fully through once you get it out a little bit with that screwdriver. Now with the rod out, the uh, laser pickup is released and all you have to do is uh, take out the, pull the locking tab out for that ribbon cable. There's the three tabs for the plastic gear that goes on the laser pickup. That innermost tab, you want to push in you know, with a tool, it's hard to get your finger back there. You want to push in and down at the same time, while those two outer tabs you want to uh, pull out and down at the same time. Just play with it a little bit and it'll slide off. Now here we're putting the uh, plastic gear back on the new laser pickup snap it on. Here I'm using an ESD safe soldering iron to remove the static the static uh, solder point. Have your uh, soldering iron at 300 to 400, 380 to 400 degrees Celsius. And obviously you want to make sure that the uh, solder is properly taken care of. This is tricky to replace the ribbon cable on the new laser pickup. Take your time. Use some silicone grease on the gears and also the rod to minimize wear. Here I'm putting out the laser glide and also the notch on the laser pickup that's the old laser pickup that i'm pointing at just to show the notch make sure you get the notch into the glide first and then you can put the rod back in just 
push all the way through until that tab locks. Test the uh, the move movement of the laser pickup by moving that gear that I'm uh, pushing. There's two holes on the back side. You can reverse the uh, procedure from the last time. Push all the way in. We're putting back the whole laser assembly, the ground strap, the ribbon cable, and also the power harness. Occasionally you want to touch a piece of metal and while we're working with electronics just to uh, make sure you discharge yourself, especially if you get up and walk around on carpet. And before putting the cover back on, to test it, just make sure again you have the lid open before you put that cover on. Also, uh, I would avoid putting the screws back on for the body before you test it. Just in case something went wrong with your assembly. Yeah, I was pretty psyched to see the VF2 screen pop up there. Getting a little scared. Black screen. By the way, this is an XRGB Mini. That's it.